Welcome to this new series from Learn and Gain on ServiceNow Event Management. In this part of Event Management, we will discuss about thresholds within event rules. Please subscribe and support our channel to create more educational videos. Just a reminder that this in no way shape or form should be considered as an official training material on the event management module. This is only an attempt to provide basic information on how to configure and implement event management. Please refer to ServiceNow product documentation for most recent updates. Thresholds enable processing of events based on a defined threshold. Most monitoring tools provide the same capability, with certain polling enabled to validate if the defined metric is equal to or greater or less than the configured threshold for a defined period. Even rules also offer the same capability, based on a metric value or the number of occurrences of the event over a specific period. Note. When apply additional matching rules are enabled with event info, threshold is disabled. Let's take a look at an example. We have disk space events configured on a D drive within a Windows server. We do not want operations team to be notified until the disk space is less than 400 megabytes. Similar configurations can be enabled within the monitoring system too, but let's take a look at how this can be achieved through event rules. Navigate to event management, all events. The list of events created today are displayed. Here you can see an event from LNG monitoring for disk space less than 1,500 megabytes. Click the event to view the details. Click create event rule. Provide a brief description, and we are naming the event rule as disk space less than 500 megabytes. Within filter, we are filtering based on sources LNG and description starting with text, disk space less than. In the transform and compose, we know the disk space metric value is within the description of the event. We need to pull that value onto a different field to apply threshold configuration. We are naming that value as disk space. In threshold tab, select active to configure thresholds. Since we need alerts for value less than 500 megabytes, less than operator value is used. The field name is the disk space value that we configured as a part of transform. Specify the threshold value as 500. Occurs refers to the number of instances such events need to occur within a specified duration, so alerts can be generated when the condition is met. Here we are configuring the value as 2. A disk space event with value less than 500 must occur twice within 120 seconds. You can configure close alert operator if needed. Now we have generated three test events with disk space for 100 megabytes within a period of 120 seconds. You can note that events are processed and an alert is generated. If you look at the processing notes, it states event rule applied was disk space less than 500 megabytes. In this example, an alert will be created even without an event rule, as the node was bound to CI. Please refer to ServiceNow Event Management, Event Rule, Part 6 of this series to understand how an event is processed. In the next chapter, we will discuss about the CI binding within an event rule. We will have the entire training segmented into multiple videos to provide a better understanding of each segment. Please support our channel by subscribing to create more educational videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.